having issues with letting Google Gemini answer your business related questions inside of your chatbots. There's a really good reason for this, that it does not work. And in this video, I'm going to explain you how to make this work, even though there is a vital piece of prompting missing inside the Google Gemini API. So first of all, welcome to this video. And this video is specifically meant with the Google Gemini coming towards UChat. And also today, later today, I'm also going to release it for the AI mastery mini app that I'm having, uh, that combines all different kinds of AI platforms into one mastery app. And let basically letting you mix and match things, right? So Google Gemini came out and there's a really, really big issue. And I'm just going to show it to you. So if we first go with an integration with OpenAI first, and if we are going to select the chat completion, you will see that it consists out of a few sections. We have the system message where you can add business information, guidelines, AI persona, role, and stuff like that. Then we have the messages. You can set the remember history to yes or no. You can choose your model. You can choose whether or not to incorporate functions, max tokens, temperatures, and then all that good stuff, right? So this is for the OpenAI ChatGPT chat completion. If we're going to take a look at the comparison with Google Gemini, however, if we go towards integrations, then you will also have Google Gemini. And if we are going to select the chat completion now, you will see that there is basically a few things missing here. So the first thing is the system message. You cannot add business information towards the payload of Google Gemini API. This is intentional done by Google to let it more be a generic language model where you can do various tasks, ask it certain things about generic topics, right? But it cannot answer your business related questions because you cannot send a system message along. And that's a really big downside if you want to use it inside of chatbots, right? To personalize, to have an AI chatbot assistant to answer your business related questions 24 seven all year long. So what is the solution? So I was actually testing out different kinds of ways to still incorporate this. And it is actually really, really simple. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this and it works just perfectly. So first of all, if we're going to do something generic like, uh, uh, hey, uh, could you help me out, right? Something really, really generic. I'm not going to mess with the uh, remember history uh, model. I will also leave as such max tokens is fine. The only thing that I'm going to adjust is the temperature. And then we are going with a test request within three or four seconds. You will get a reply back because this is of course not that much of a chat completion and you will find the reply on the candidates content parts. So if you unfold this and then unfold it again, then you will see that you have something like this, right? Sure, I can help you out, I can provide information, answer questions, really generic reply. So how to personalize this? How to also make it uh, answer your business related questions? So if I take a look for me, for example, for the Chapel Marketing Accelerator, how can I do this, right? So because if I ask something like this, uh, hi, do you, uh, does the Chapel Marketing Accelerator um, have any templates for the ManyChat platform? How would it know the information about the Chapel Marketing Accelerator? Because I cannot send it along, right? So if I test this request now, most likely it will come up that it does not know, or it will come up with really hallucinating facts. So if we're going to take a look now, here we have it. Yes, the Chapel Marketing, uh, the Chapel Marketing Accelerator provides templates for the ManyChat platform. These templates are designed to help you quickly and easily uh, create high converting chatbots. And I was, how the heck does it base its information of this, right? This is totally untrue and it does not know the chatbot marketing accelerator at all. It may, may have some kind of informa information about a chatbot marketing accelerator, but it's not my information. So this is really, really confusing and often inaccurate and stuff like that. So how can we prompt it that it answers the business related information? You can do that all inside the messages section and you need to have a certain prompt structure for this. And this structure works as following. First of all, we are going to say user set, and then we're just going with the last text message, or the last text input rather. There we go. Have a dot. Then we're going to say a persona. Let's say you are Mark, the founder of the chatbot marketing accelerator. Then we're going to give it a role. You are to reply to any questions uh, related to the membership, uh, to uh, well, yeah, let's say to the membership and then also give context that this is a membership. So you are the founder of the chatbot marketing accelerator membership. You are to reply to any questions related to the membership. And that is the role for now. 
uh, while not exactly based on the following business information. And now I'm going to give the business information. So let's say the chatbot marketing accelerator only has, uh, uh, only focuses on content for the new chat platform due uh, to its high versatile set of features, integrations, and options to build high converting chatbots. Although the templates, workshops, and mini apps are based on the YouTube platform, you can still apply the thought logic um, onto other platforms. Uh, like many chat, chat, chat view, and so on. Right, so this is a piece of business related information. So the next part is to give it guidelines on how to respond. So let's do that as well. So let's say guidelines uh, for response. Let's say a reply in first person, comma, then add a new guideline, add fitting emojis. Um, also, let's say, um, replying first person, add fitting emojis. Well, actually, let's leave it at this for now. I think that's fine. Well, actually, well, let's do one more. Let's say tone of voice should be friendly and conversational. And let's also do and fun. Let's do that. Let's copy this into the right-hand side for the test value. And then from here, we're going to replace the lost text input custom variable with an actual question. So let's say, do, um, does your membership have templates for ManyChat? And now we should get a really accurate and precise reply based on the information that we gave and also a really fun reply based on the guidelines that we gave all inside the messages section. So let's take a look, let's test the request again and let's see what we get. And even with this kind of information, it only takes four to five seconds. And let's take a look now. Hey there, well, our membership focuses exclusively on UChat. We understand that you might be using other platforms like ManyChat. The good news is that the principles and strategies we teach can be applied across platforms. Our templates, workshops, and, men, uh, and mini apps are designed to help you build high converting chatbots, regardless of the platform you choose. So while we don't have templates specifically for ManyChat, you can still leverage the knowledge and techniques we provide to create effective chatbots on your preferred platform. So how cool is this, that this is a much more accurate answer now, right? It's a really dense answer, really precise answer, and it is based on the business information that we gave it, along with the guideline that we also added. Few things to note here. The first thing is we cannot separate this in a nicely formatted view. We could have user set, then we have the persona and the role, and then we have the business information also going on a new line. And basically this format, let's also go for guidelines, right? Normally inside of an open AI chat completion, you can do something like this, right? If you do this inside of Google Gemini, um, although it's more easier to the eye, this will trigger an error. So if I'm going to replace all of this, um, so let's replace this with this format, as you can see here, it will trigger an, an error. So if we're going to test now, you will see, please ensure that multi-turn requests alternate between user and model, meaning that if you have a line break, it basically fetches, if we are going to delete this, it basically fetches this as a new role. So a different person stating this. So we have then the assistant, we have then a user replying, we have then an assistant and so on and so on. So that means that it sees this, for example, uh, if we put this back in, right? It sees this as the user, it sees this as the assistant, or at least you should have put it like this. And then it sees this as the user again, and this as the assistant again. So that is something that you cannot do. So you need to have this all as one paragraph, basically, right? So you need to connect all of them like this. And then also the guidelines also need to be there. And basically you just connect all of them like this, right? Although not looking really, really pretty, it does work.
Again, if we're going to test, we will get a similar similar reply as with the other one, uh, although we don't have a lost text input here. So let's uh, replace that again. So let's say, uh, do you have templates for the chat view platform? So let's go with that. Let's test it again. And we should get a similar reply within four to six seconds. And if we are going to take a look, as you can see here, we focus exclusively on content for the UChat platform because of its uh, versatility, integrations and options for building high converting chatbots. And then we'll get something similar. So you can see that using everything inside the messages section will allow you to actually pull in the business information. So I would advise you to not give too much information to make it a too long of a prompt. Of course you can do that. You can increase the tokens and stuff like that. But if you keep the information short, and precise, only related to the user's question, which you can basically categorize uh, upfront before going towards this actual chat completion, then you will have a really short chat completion, a really quick reply that you can send towards the user. So I hope this video helps you in understanding how you can still use Google Gemini chat completions to send your business information along with the AI persona, along with the AI role, and along with the response guidelines as well, all within one chat completion. If you have any questions, do let me know and I will try to help you out as soon as possible. But for now, have some fun trying this out and have a great weekend in advance. I will talk to you really, really soon.